when we talk about an innovation management program, we need to talk about the most important people there. And these are the what we call the intrapreneurs, not the entrepreneurs. They are those who create companies, but those who create companies within a corporation who take or is given the freedom and resources to initiate a project, a business venture, and so on. That's basically an entrepreneur. Now, when we look at the requirements for an entrepreneur, I call it the entrepreneurship pyramid, then we see there are some certain basic needs. Uh, we need people who are knowledgeable. We need to give them space and time. And space can be really give them a time to do that uh, and uh, give them also a period, duration. You know, it's not today that they have to deliver results, it's just in six months or something. But they need to take their time occasionally. They need space for that. Uh, they need to be curious. They need to be, hmm, that's funny. How does that work? And how could we improve that? Drive is very important. Uh, you know, you need to be intelligent, but you can be as intelligent as you want. If you don't have a drive to, to make the world better, you're not going anywhere. Then uh, the basic needs are then uh, helping you to, you know, giving you the, the, the best basic uh, basis for creativity. And for being creative, you need to be playful. Uh, that's a very important component. You need to turn uh, certain techniques, creativity techniques, into a habit so that you regularly do it and practice them. And then you need a certain attitude. The attitude like, oh, that's a stupid idea, but oh, could you do that as well with that thing? Yeah? So this positive attitude. And you need, as I mentioned already, practice uh, by turning it into a habit. Uh, out of those crea creative elements, you then come to ideas. So, so you can use uh, ideation as a way to, as a methodology to, to get ideas. You need to execute on those ideas. You may want to do hackathons where you sit together in groups uh, for like in a period of 24 hours on a, you know, really like 24 hours. You start at 12 uh, and you end at 12 the next day uh, and come up with uh, something that you can demo that looks like a real product, like a real service, and you present it in front of a jury. You may want to give them a place where they can tinker, where they can try out stuff with the uh, newest technologies, with the uh, just crafts materials, yeah, to build a, a prototype and test out stuff. Uh, and don't, don't forget that you need to do the legal paperwork, also you know, patent the stuff and protect it. Once you have these ideas, you need to go and prototype them. You need to, you know, stick with it. You cannot give up because you run into problems. You need to be persistent, uh, overcome the obstacles. Sometimes you need to pivot. Pivot is, uh, okay, uh, we realize it's not going to work, but what could we do differently here? Yeah? You need to test it with, with, with customers, with, with co-workers. And testing is important. Do not uh, protect your customers from your products <laughs> in the sense of, uh, you need to get out and get feedback on that. You need to iterate and come back to those customers and, and improve the product over time. Uh, for that, an entrepreneur also needs certain leadership. It's not just, you. I'm an expert and I'm an entrepreneur, this is what I do, I just come up with the idea. No, you need to lead potentially you know, your coworkers, your team that works with you, your, your, your partners in crime. You need to be able to talk and pitch it because it's all about convincing people that this is a great idea and this is how it's going to work. And it helps you to fundraise, to get a budget for that and a plan, like, like go-to-market plan, rollout plan, production plans, all these kind of things. And that requires also attitude and guidance. So management guidance, but also the attitude should be, I need to get shit done. Yeah? Uh, it's not like I wait until somebody else does that. No, it's you who does that as an entrepreneur. Um, so entrepreneurs come up with uh, new services, new products, new business ideas, new markets, new processes, new business models. And uh, some of these examples are uh, uh, the 3M guys who, who built the post-it notes, Spencer Silver and Otto Fry, who had this drive to really test out their failed glue that they had and put it on paper and played around with that and tested it and iterated on that and made it stickier and less stickier and more stickier and tested it out with them until they had the right mix. Or, or here, this one, 
Paul Buchheit from uh, Google. He he was the guy who made Google Gmail. He started that as 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 a, as a side project in his thing, and you know, I use Gmail all the time. That's my that's my thing, and and millions of people as well. Uh, here's an example from uh, from SAP where I had work. We had basically back then a business intelligence software, and that was based on Microsoft Excel as a reporting tool. Uh, and in 2000, what came in? The web, the internet. And uh, Guido and, and another co-worker, they sat just together overnight and programmed the prototype. And uh, the whole team the next morning assembled and looked at the demo. And that demo just made it clear that's the future, that's the way. We had all these plans of what are the next features and functions. With that demo, the plans were not valid anymore. We knew that we went out and we saw in the next six months we have that web solution here. That's what we did. Or here is a, a Gib Bullock. Uh, he worked for Accenture and he realized that charities are often missing those professional tools that he's used to. He's working with companies, consulting them. So he brought basically uh, an internal program, Consulting for Good, where he used the same techniques that Accenture is using for the big corporates to use it for charities and, and help them become more successful. Uh, there are tons of examples of entrepreneurship successes. You may have heard about, you know, Google, Google News was such a project, yeah? Or multiple divisions launched by Virgin where internal project. Well, the PlayStation that you may be playing with the Sony PlayStation is one that came out of that. Uh, uh, Java programming lang language that came out of some microsystems digital and, and so on. There are, there are tons of these examples. It's always interesting to, to read and see of how this uh, happened at other companies. Now, if you still need convincing that uh, entrepreneurs are, are good for your company, what are the benefits that they get? Just, just take a look at, at some of them. They foster innovation, they create this positive culture, they, they breed talent. Uh, people who are entrepreneurs, they also bring people in there. Yeah? They, they, they coach people, they bring them in, people are attracted to them to work with them. Uh, of course, it helps you save money uh, R&D money, because it's not just a department here that is responsible for that, the R&D department. No, it is everyone's, it's everyone's tasks to do innovation. Um, you gain competitive intelligence, because they typically would investigate and look at the market in a diff very different way than your you know, CI team that would normally do that you have. They, they foster market research. They, of course, if you're successful, they increase revenues. This may be your next billion dollar business that you have. And it boosts employee morale because they feel self-driven that they have a control over what they're doing. And if they're successful, well, that's a big morale and, and gives and spreads throughout the organization because others feel encouraged. They expand the product pipeline beyond what you normally would have uh, and extract external talent. If this company, if your company becomes uh, you know, gets the word out that uh, you had some successful entrepreneurship uh, projects that brought new products, people will look at that and you may get the talents that so far have avoided you. And of course, you know, the biggest story in the US is always you benefit societies. You make this dent in the universe.